Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. And today we're going to answer an age-old question of why is there wooden parts, equipment, stored on a steel warship? So, Battleship New Jersey was a damage control powerhouse in the 80s. Uh, her crew really trained for and excelled at different damage control exercises and were awarded for their success at them. Uh, and so to achieve that, the ship was retrofitted with damage control equipment all over the place. This is very common for Navy and Coast Guard vessels, not just New Jersey. But having visited many of these, including multiple Iowa class battleships, I feel like New Jersey takes it one step further. And that's probably why they got more awards. We are outside of the ship's post office right now, which is, if you're following from your booklet, General Plans at Home. Our bullseye says we're at 2, TAC 97, TAC 0, TAC L. So something that does not show up on other Iowa-class battleships is this shoring timber rack right outside of the post office. Uh, so what is shoring timber? Why is it here? Uh, Basically, somebody punches a hole in your ship. Damage control is plugging that hole just enough to keep fighting or make it back into port. It is not a full repair. Somebody punches a hole in our ship, a full repair might be welding uh, a steel plate over it. Very easy to do in dry dock. Less easy to do uh, when there's water coming through that hole. So step one in combat is stop the water getting into the ship so you can maintain as much buoyancy as possible and stay afloat as long as possible. And you're not trying to stop all the water coming through. You're just trying to plug the hole enough that your pumps can pump out more water than is coming into the ship. So shoring timber is a real easy way to prop something against a hole uh, or let's say a compartment is fatally flooded and that water is going to knock down the bulkhead, uh, these bulkheads are not designed to take the full weight of thousands of gallons in a space like this pressing against a door. Uh, so you can shore that door shut. There are all sorts of things you can do. Uh, so ships like New Jersey have both mechanical shores, uh, but also just pieces of wooden timber laying around. And uh, this stuff can be cut to size and uh, placed wherever you want on the ship. On modern ships, there's a lot of battery-powered uh, equipment with this. Uh, on New Jersey, different shoring chests and repair lockers would have uh, usually at least a pair of Carpenter's Crosscut saws like this one. And this is one of the ship's original uh, saws. Uh, the repair parties had a certain budget, and they probably spent this in a Lowe's or a Home Depot type place on a regular standard saw and kept it in a repair locker for possible emergency use. Electrical power tools exist by the 1980s, but they're intentionally using hand tools so that uh, if there's a space flooding, they're not plugging into an electrical outlet or if uh, the space has lost power, they're not without their tools. So relatively easy with a carpenter's crosscut saw to cut an angle in the end of one of your boards so that it will wedge against the ground and then against your door, your bulkhead, whatever the case may be. Once it's in place like that, you may need to wedge it further. And so the carpenter shop on this ship made a ton of offcuts of uh, wedges like this one. And you know it's an original to the ship because it has uh, the number written on it. Uh, this is a 3 by 3 by 12, which means it is 3 inches tall three inches wide, and 12 inches long. Uh, this one does still have the mark on it, but it looks like it's been smeared off. Um, but just going by a guess, it's about an inch by an inch and a half or two inches by six, something like that. Uh, so different wedges like these, you can wedge into your shoring timbers that are blocked there to give them more force, uh, or you can hammer them both in at the same time 
to really force the door closed, force things to uh, tighten up. And so all the repair lockers have malls like this, which this is one of the smaller ones. Uh, many of them have significantly heavier ones that you can use to hammer these wedges in place. Uh, and you would usually have somebody hammering from both sides at the same time so that one guy isn't knocking the wedges out. Shoring lockers like this would also have uh, more conventionally sized hammers and big 10 cent nails or things like that so that you can um, nail all this together so it can get you back to port once you've wedged it all in place. Uh, so that's great for big holes. Uh, let's say we're fighting another battleship and it's firing armor-piercing projectiles at us, and uh, those projectiles punch a nice round hole in the side of the ship and keep on going. Maybe they don't detonate, maybe they're duds, uh, maybe they don't hit enough to detonate, and they go out the other side of the ship before they fuse. Uh, so we've also got plugs around the ship. Some of them are wee little baby plugs like this one. Uh, and you can see this one's actually been used. Notice how it's got the uh, wear there. This is, this is very soft wood. Uh, looks like yellow pine to me, but you hammer it into a hole and then when it gets wet it expands and that really stops the the flow of water coming in. Here's another one that also uh, has been used before. You can you can see the ring there. Um, another relatively soft wood. It's even got uh, strike marks on the back from where it was hammered into place. Uh, and then they come in a little bit bigger size. So here is one that uh, maybe could stop a cruiser caliber hit. Looks like it's maybe six or eight inches there and maybe 10 or 12 inches on the back side. Uh, so you could hammer this halfway in. Now this is perfect for a nice symmetrical round hole like a projectile might make, but uh, the holes are never going to be perfect. It's going to hit along a seam, a riveted seam, and that's going to make a long gash or something like that. So in addition to things like the DC plugs here, repair lockers will also have canvas strips and uh, oakum like this stored so you can wrap it around your plug and uh, help make it further watertight. So oftentimes you'll see they put a sheet of canvas over the hole and then they hammer the plug into it. Uh, and obviously canvas isn't watertight, but it's like the wood expanding. It's filling that hole so much, much less water is coming through and flooding the ship, uh, which means the pumps can keep up with it. And that big plug I showed you uh, is actually just a medium sized plug. I didn't want to carry a bigger one up here, but they come uh, for battleships in particular in much larger sizes, 16, 18, 20 inches, uh, so that you can plug a battleship-sized hole. And often, uh, whereas this is a single piece of wood that's been turned down on a lathe to that size, there are multiple pieces laminated together to get to that uh, thickness. These are not designed to last. They're, they're soft wood. They would rot easily. This one's got all sorts of uh, chips in it because it's made out or checks uh, because it's made out of a single piece of wood. But that is fine. You're just slowing the flow of water. So, um, Battleship New Jersey is a very fortunate ship, and as far as I know, she never suffered any flooding issues throughout her entire career. But that doesn't mean that the crew didn't train for it. Battleships are most vulnerable to hits below the water. Torpedoes, mines, things like that, that hit below the armored belt. Uh, and so... A well-trained crew can offset a lack of perfect armor. Damage control uh, techniques became so good uh, in U.S. Navy use during World War II that uh, modern ships, we don't have a lot of armor protection because we trust our crew's damage control capabilities. Much of the country experienced flooding earlier this month as a result of Hurricane Ida. Philadelphia took a lot of water, um, my house was fine, but on the ship, we did do some uh, waterproofing, closing exterior doors, that sort of stuff that we wouldn't normally do. Did you guys have to do any damage control in your own homes? Let us know in the comment section down below. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State 
and also from a number of other businesses and private individuals. The support you guys have given us is tremendous, and there's a link in the description below if you'd like to continue helping us out. You can also support the museum and our YouTube channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about us. Thanks for watching.